In this video, you will learn 11 plus maths topic. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master 11 plus exam techniques to land in your dream grammar school, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, let's have a look at converting fractions to decimals. So in the previous video, we saw how to convert fractions into decimals by changing the denominator into 10, 100 or 1000. We have to make a new equivalent fraction with the denominator of 10. To do that, we have to change the 5 into a 10 and the number we have to multiply 5 to get 10 is none other than 2 because we all know 5 times 2 will give you 10. And remember, Whatever you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. So multiply the 3 also by 2. And 3 times 2 will give you 6. So we get 6 over 10. And we know that 6 over 10 as a decimal is 0 0.6. So that means 3 over 5 converted into a decimal is 0 0.6. Now, when we're converting fractions into decimals, it's not always obvious that we can change the denominator into 10, 100 or 1000. In this case, we have a denominator of 14. And it looks like we cannot change the 14 into 10, 100 or 1000. To convert these fractions into decimals and to get a denominator of 10, 100 or 1000, we have to do these two steps right here. So first, we have to reduce to the lowest terms. To reduce 7 over 14 to the lowest terms, we have to find the highest common factor for both the numerator and the denominator. The highest common factor for both 7 and 14 is obviously 7. So that means you have to divide the numerator by 7 and also the denominator by 7. So 7 divided by 7 will give you 1. And then we have 14 divided by 7, which will give you 2. So we have 1 over 2. The second step is to make a new equivalent fraction with the denominator of 10. Now we've done the first step and we're going to move on to the second one, which is make a new equivalent fraction with the denominator of 10. To make this denominator 2 into a 10, we have to multiply by 5. So we have to do 2 times 5, which is obviously 10. And whatever you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. So you do 1 times 5, which will give you 5. And you get 5 over 10. Now, we know that 5 over 10 as a decimal is going to be 0 0.5. So that means 7 over 14 converted into a decimal is 0 0.5. Now, let's have a look at converting this fraction into a decimal. To convert 27 over 36 into a decimal, we're going to do the same two steps we did in the previous example. Firstly, we're going to reduce to the lowest terms. To do that, we have to find the highest common factor for both 27 and 36. And the highest common factor for both 27 and 36 is 9. So that means you have to divide the numerator by 9 and also the denominator by 9. So 27 divided by 9 will give you 3, and then 36 divided by 9 will give you 4. So you get 3 over 4. Next, you have to do step number 2, because we now done step number 1, and we go on to step number 2, which is make a new equivalent fraction with the denominator of 100. So we have to make this 4 into 100. To make this 4 into 100, we have to multiply by 25. Because as we all know, 4 times 25 will obviously give you 100. Now, whatever you do to the denominator, you do to the numerator. So multiply the 3 also by 25. And 3 times 25 will give you 75. So we get 75 over 100. Now that's a second step also done 
and 75 over 100 into a decimal is 0 0.75. So that means 27 over 36 converted into a decimal is 0 0.75. Now to learn more on Level Plus Maps, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.